small crowd gathered along the foggy banks of the Hudson River. Soon, in the distance, what they were waiting for became visible. This was something to check off the bucket list. How often are you going to see a bridge floating down the river? Zero times, except yeah. for one. Except for this. Now tomorrow you can say you've seen it once, right? Yes. For Debbie Vale, the sight was an inspiration. A 2,400-ton bridge made of U.S. steel, assembled in upstate New York and taken by barge down the Hudson River into New York City. I think it's great to give our own people here some jobs, materials, and not say it was made in another country. Called the Willis Avenue Bridge, it will connect Manhattan and the Bronx when installed next month. The barges carrying the bridge moved slowly, but those in Poughkeepsie who waited got a twofer, speeded up here for you to see. The bridge first went under the old railroad bridge, and secondly, under the Mid-Hudson Bridge. A simple but profound pleasure for those watching. I've lived here all my life. I've never, ever seen anything like this before. It's, uh, it's amazing to see something that big floating down the river. The bridge is longer than a football field. Once installed over the Harlem River, it is designed to swing open to allow boats to pass through. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, Poughkeepsie, New York.